So there's my water heater. Move that back actually so you can walk right through there. Look, they wrote on my walls when they built the house. The furnace didn't even go there. So that's where my um, Takeo X block is going to go and my manifold. I'm working on cleaning out the basement. So this is the hallway. I'm going to heat all this. I'm going to heat right up to there. We'll go ahead. We're going to pull in the toilet. Pull up all that trim. I'm going to heat the closet. Heat all this. See? And they built my house. They gave me plenty of room here. So I'm going to put my heated floors you know, pergo on top of them. So, there we go. So today's project, empty the basement, and I'm actually gonna go get a tarp, wrap everything up right on my back patio. So I'm gonna empty the basement, pull up the trim, pull up the carpet, start working on pulling up the laminate floor I have my carpet up now I just need to pull up the carpet tack that door strip pulled that one up came up pretty easy so This laminate floor came up really, really nice. I'll just, this stuff actually comes up really nice. It took me about two minutes to pull that up, so I'll clean that up a little better. Pull this up when I get all the route paneling. So, there you go. So, got the flooring down, the panels down, and I got the pipes run. So, those I came out over there, and that's just kind of a spiral loop right there to there. And then these I came out there, two of those two, and I ran. A spiral loop there. I still have some blocking. I have not secured any of this down yet. Found it's a lot easier to go ahead and put your pipes in and then secure it. So these kind of just went to there. Now they say you don't want to run these too close to that toilet because of your wax ring. They say kind of try to stay away from it. This should work real nice because my feet will, your feet will be sitting right on those panels. Now I use several different kind of uh, loops here. These loops are probably the um, the best way to do it. The floor will be as even as the temperature as you can because your supply and return lines run right next to each other now it's a little harder to do than running it like that you know that goes down pretty quickly no thinking really involved this takes a little bit more but it's a lot better a lot more even of a floor temperature so I used several different uh, patterns here. Um, 
No, something else you can do. So I just left some uh, furring strips out. You can actually do that with all of these end pieces, that end and that end. But um, I do. I guess it'd work out if you did it both ways. But uh, they come with the floor strips, so use them. So now I gotta basically set all my plates, space them out real nice and even. Um, you do want to leave spacing in between your plates for expansion and contraction when it heats up and cools down. So there you go. Alright, so this is what I did to eat the floor. I got a Tico X block. I got a round manifold. I have two extra loops in case I ever want to do my garage. I just tied that manifold into the X block into my water heater. So I'm pulling off my water heater, two heat exchangers, and then this is sending it through my floor. Right now I have my floor about 95 degrees. So, pretty much secured the floor down. Um, there's a floor that I'm putting down to underlayment. You want to put your floor down as instructed in um, the flooring's instructions. So, you know, you might think that that's some kind of insulation barrier, but they want it in. So I put 50 million screws in. I um, I just use these tap cons, three eighths, and um, instead of using the hammer drill that comes with it, just got these. So um, they're three sixteenths. I can't get my camera to focus. Three sixteenths. So, I'm going to go ahead, finish up this video, thanks for watching, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think guys, bye.